In this video, we will learn the Laplace expansion of determinants. So this method is used for uh, expanding determinants that are of the order 4. Uh, now this method is a bit complicated, but it's quite easy to use once you get the hold of it. Let's stay, let's understand this with the help of an example. Suppose we are given this determinant and we have to prove by expanding this determinant that this determinant is equal to the whole square of AF minus BE plus CD. So by the Laplace expansion, the first thing is, the first thing that we need to do is choose any two rows which are going to remain constant throughout. We can choose the first and the second row, the first and third row, the second and, fifth, the second and fourth row, whatever we are choice. So let's see how this example is supposed to be solved. Firstly, like I said, we need to choose two rows. I will be choosing row number 1. This is row 1, this entire one. And this is row 2. So I will be choosing row, row 1 and row 2. So firstly, I will be adding the rows which I have chosen. I have chosen the first row and the second row. So minus 1, 1 plus 2. Where this stands for the rows. Now, I will choose the columns. So uh, firstly, I have to choose the first and the second column. So this is my first column, this one, and this is my second column. So now I will add the number, the columns that I have chosen. That is 1 plus 2. Now, for ease, let us see. We have chosen the first row and the second row, and the first column and the second column. So in these four lines, what are the common variables? The common uh, variables or numbers are 0, A, minus A, 0. And what are the numbers and, uh, and what are the numbers that are uncommon, that are not a part of these, two, uh, these four lines? They are these four, which is 0, F, minus F, and 0. Now, what will we do next? Plus, again, minus 1. The rows are going to remain co uh, constant. So here I have chosen the first and second row and it's always going to be the first and second row. So first plus second. Now, I will choose the first and the third column. This is my third column. So, here I will write 1 plus 3. So, what's basically the point? This, this stands for rows, whereas this stands for the columns. Okay? So, now I am choosing the first and the third column. Now, in the first and the third column, let's erase this line. In the first and third column, what are the common points? The common points in the first and third column and the first and second row are 0, B minus A and this is D. Points in our rows and columns are minus D, F, minus E and 0. Now again, what will we do? Another plus sign and we will write again minus 1. The rows will again remain constant, the first and second row. Now I will choose the first and the fourth row. So 1 plus 4. So uh, in my first and fourth row, the first and fourth column, this one and this one. And these two rows are always constant. What are the common points? The common points are 0, C and uh, it's minus A. So C. 0, C minus A and E. And what are the uncommon points in the rows and columns that I have chosen? They are this part which is minus D, 0, minus E, minus F. So like this we are going to continue. So, so now we will continue evaluating this determinant right from here. 
Okay, so now we will choose the first and second row as usual and now we will move on to the second and third column. The second and the third column. So in the second and third column, if you check your determinant, uh, the common points are A, B, uh, 0 and D. Whereas the uncommon points that are not a part of the rows and columns that we have chosen are minus B, F, C and 0. Now again, this time we will choose the first and second row and the second and fourth column. So here again, the, the so basically if this is our determinant, so now I am choosing the first and second row and the second and fourth column. So what are the common points as per our previous determinant? They are A, C, 0 and E. Whereas the uncommon points are now minus B, 0, minus C and minus F. And the last addition that we have to make is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. That is now we are choosing the third and the fourth column. So what are the common points here? They are B, C, D, E. And the uncommon ones are minus B, minus D, minus C and minus E. So now our next step will be to evaluate these determinants and add them. That is evaluate this determinant, then add it to this one, then add it to this one and six equations that we have got. So if you see this first one gets reduced to uh, a minus 1 has a power, a, an even power. 3 plus 3 equals 6. So minus 1 uh, to the power 6 equals 1. Now we need to evaluate these two determinants. So 0 into 0 minus, minus a into a will give me a square and a square into 0 into 0 minus minus f into f which will give me f square. So this determinant is equal to a square into f square. Now this second determinant is equal to it has an even uh, odd power. Minus 1 has an odd power. So firstly we need to add a minus sign here. And now this gets reduced to 0 into d minus minus a into b which is equal to ab into this into this minus minus e into f which is equal to ef. The third one gets reduced. Third one gets reduced to uh, 0 into e minus minus a into c which is ac into df minus 0 which leaves it to df. This one gets reduced to uh, this one has an even, even power so we haven't added a minus sign. Here uh, again, here you see we have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have an odd power. So we need to add a minus sign. And now our determinant here is AD into minus CF. And this one is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Again we get an odd power. So a minus sign, then AE into BF. Here again in the final one, we have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, an even power, so we do not need a minus sign. And here we are getting a BE minus DC into BE minus CD. So on evaluating these six determinants, we get these values. Now our job is to add all these, that is add this to this to this to all these. And then we will get the RHS of our proof. So as evaluated previously, I have all my determinant values here and I am just going to add them step by step. So the first one was a square f square. So I get an a square f square minus 
A B E F plus A C D F plus A D C F minus A E B F and plus B square E square minus B square uh, minus B E C D minus B E C D again and plus B square C square. Now if you evaluate this, um, what do you get? You get an A square F square. A B E F is there any A B E F? Yes, we have an A B E F here. So minus two A B E F. A C D F. There are two A C D F plus two A C D F. And we have minus two B E C D plus B square E square plus B square. Can be written as a square f square minus two a b c f minus a c d f minus uh, sorry plus b e c d plus b square e square plus d square c square. Now this is the whole square of our RHS that is AF minus BE plus CD whole square. If you, if you evaluate this AF minus BE plus CD whole square this is what you get and thus we have proved our LHS equal to RHS. So this is the Laplace expansion of determinants that is used for evaluating determinants of the order 4.